All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to United USA 2020 and beyond. Uh, electors in seven states casting dueling votes for Trump. Hmm. Okay. Well, under the Twelfth Amendment, uh, Defendant Pence alone has the exclusive authority and sole discretion to open and permit the counting of the electoral votes for a given state. And where there are competing slates of electors and where there is objection of any single slate of electors to determine which electors votes or whether none shall be counted. What? So it looks like this just gets even more weird. Anyway, continuing on. Well, um, some weird stuff going on here surrounding our vice president, Mike Pence. Um, I get a very shady, bad feeling from him. Um, it also seems that he might be part of a, a bigger coup that might be going on that maybe we're not seeing at the moment. Um, but uh, let me continue on and give you guys a little bit of insight of where this is headed right now. So it is theoretically possible for the governor of the legislature, each uh, representing a different political party, to submit two different election results leading to a so-called dueling slates of electors. Wow. Well, it gets weirder. Let me go ahead and continue here. So the state legislators of uh, Pennsylvania, Michigan, Wisconsin, Georgia, and Arizona are unable to review the manner in which the election was conducted. God, what? you got to be kidding me. Uh... They are prevented from exercising their investigative powers and are unable to vote, debate on a body to speak <laughs> to the conduct of the election. In sum, the state legislators are impotent to respond to what happened in the November 3rd, 2020 presidential election. Hmm. And furthermore, it states that the Electoral Count Act of 1887 requires the vice president to affirm the winner of the elections. Okay, but why does Mike Pence not want to be responsible? And this right here, again, let me remind you guys, it says it's theoretically possible for the governor uh, and legislator, uh, each representing a different political party, to submit two different election results leading to the so-called dueling slates of electors. That sounds like a conflict of interest and a contradiction at the same time. So, to make this whole thing more weird, uh, GOP lawmakers are <laughs> suing Pence <laughs> in the bid to overturn the Biden win. But what's really strange about it is here it is, they're suing him to get him to go ahead and do this. But it seems that Pence is saying he doesn't want to have any part of it. He doesn't want to be in the middle of it. That seems shady to me. It seems like he doesn't have Trump's back after all. Looks like Kamala is laughing all the way to the bank. Hmm. So Mike Pence um, is, in my personal opinion, really showing his true colors right here. He does not have Trump's back. It is quite obvious at this point. Um, as part of his job as vice president in a situation like this is for him to have that final vote. Regardless of whatever the electorals do, whatever he's choosing and they're trying to, you know, pin him in the middle, regardless, he has a duty and an obligation. If he didn't want the job, guess what? You shouldn't have accepted the position for vice president, dude. Like I said, in my personal opinion, it shows Mike Pence's true colors. But it will be interesting to see what happens after January 6th. So the saga continues. Ladies and gentlemen, please be sure to like and share. If you haven't subscribed, hit that bell notification. Get this one out there. Thanks for tuning in.